Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm here with Layout 7 for How to Kill a Kit with Style. Today I have a paper issues challenge to use up some punctuation as well as Mercy Tiara's winter challenge. This is the grab five this or that challenge. So uh, I ended up going with stripes, outlining, chipboard, stamping, and enamel shapes. I tried to do either the six by six paper pad or scraps, but I ended up using both. So I did not count that in my grab five. Um, but I did off screen before I did a layout, I went ahead and fussy cut these circular elements out of all of those pocket cards because I knew I wasn't going to use those as a pocket card element. So I figured if I just circ like cut them out into circles, um, I'd be more likely to use them. And I'm going to go live here in a minute to explain this. <laughs> okay, so real quick, <laughs> I had not used this yet. Um, we are on page seven, I think, of this kit. So I was like, all right, I'm going to use it this time. It's getting used on this page. I had the best intentions, but guys, this is solid. It's all dried up, so <laughs> it's getting thrown away. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just needed to show you guys the state that this was in. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows how to revitalize this uh artsy texture cream but I think it's a uh, I think it's dead so I tried you guys saw that I tried <laughs> okay so <laughs> moving on that's going in the trash can um, but I do decide to take these circular elements and put them in that wreath pattern like you saw me do in the beginning um, by the end of this page it ends up pretty random I like the end design but all of these iconic sky constellation like elements have nothing to do with the story of my page. <laughs> but I really wanted to get them used up. It was bothering me that I hadn't used any of them yet. And I, this is a really good way to use them up. I really like how they look in the final design. It just has nothing to do with the story. But because this is in my scrapbook and not in Bennett's, I really don't mind that there's a random page with stars that has nothing to do with the story. So I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> I did pop up four of them um, on some foam just so a few of them had some dimension to add some interest. Uh, I don't think they're in order or anything, um, but yeah, I'm just going to glue all of those around in a circle. <clears throat> there we go, and I know I want the photo there just because that's the direction that Marcus is looking. He's looking up towards the uh, left, so I want to put him down, I'm sorry, he's looking up to the right, so I want to put him down in the bottom left-hand corner so that you, his eyes kind of direct you across the page. And then I'm super duper impressed that this title came out of that scrap of a thicker set that was left over. So um, what I did, because I got down to the point where I couldn't really come up with very many words using that thicker sheet. So I use a website called um, Word or Litscape. I think it's Litscape. All I did was I Googled letters to words and it was like the fourth or fifth website that popped up. It's called Litscapes. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but I like it because it lets you put in a lot more letters than most uh, websites do to find words. So I basically plugged in all of the letters I had left in my thicker set and then it found all of the words that was possible to be made with whatever letters I had. So that's super awesome resource. I strongly recommend you use it if you have some sticker sheets that you really can't find very many words left. Um, it's, it's surprising because if you saw what was left on a thicker sheet, there were, I think, almost like 500 words that could have been made out of what I saw like five or six words out of. <laughs> and I, I found this surprisingly long title out of what was left. Granted, after this page, I plugged in the letters that were left and there were zero words that could be made <laughs> with the thickers that were left. And that's because I used all the vowels, including the Ys. Um, but yeah, so that's how I came up with this um, this title. You also saw that I took the plus signs and the percent sign and I'm going to use those as embellishments to use up my punctuation that's on that sticker sheet. So um, the plus signs I just turned as X's and I used the circles from the percent to be O's. So I'm going to use that as an XOXO embellishment. 
and then I'm using the slash from the percent sign as a slash to use in my date. So that's how I got those used up. <laughs> so this um, this page is about me bird sitting <laughs> my uh, my dad's bird. So uh, Marcos was very excited to have this bird stay with us for a few days. <laughs> His name is Birdie, um, and and I was excited to have him to have never had to take care of a bird before. <laughs> uh, so. We were excited to have him over, but um, he did turn into a squawky handful. So when I saw those words pop up on the word finder, I was like, you know what? That's appropriate enough. I'm going to go with it. Um, and then here you can see another example of why Kelsey doesn't stamp. So we'll see how many times I mess this up. <laughs> I try to stamp this word and emboss it. I, I lost count. I need a counter tab or something because I seriously tried this. I don't even know how many times before I finally was like, okay, this is good enough. It's fine. And it tur still turned out a little messy. Um, <laughs> but stamping was one of the things on the recipe that I needed to use. And I found this sentiment that says, uh, if you only knew. And I thought that was really funny considering the context of the page. So um, it, it did, does turn out a little messy at the end. It's still readable though. And again, it's in my book and not Bennett's. So I don't always mind if it turns out a little messy, if it's going in my album. <laughs> and then again, outlining was one of the uh, recipes, some outlining in my white pen, and I'm kind of sad I didn't do this earlier with this kit because using that white gel pen on the craft border really mimics those thickers perfectly, and they look like they were made to go together. So I really like how that looks, <laughs> but that's kind of how this page comes together. Um, <laughs> that's what the title is about, and you just see Marcus looking at at Birdie there. And then um, another thing I came across, I'm getting to the end of this kit, and I still had quite a few stickers left on that sticker sheet. So I try to cluster a good uh, handful of them in this corner here. <laughs> so I'm using that thumbs up and number one fan because Marcus was super excited to get this bird. Um, and I think he would have been excited to have him back had it not been for the fact that Marcus works nights and has to sleep during the day. So Birdie slept while I slept, so I didn't have too big of a problem with that. But he was very, very chatty during the day, and Marcus got no sleep while he was with us. <laughs> so it was really hard for him to go to work on no sleep. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the story of the page. Uh, but I'm still doing the thumbs up. I'm still saying number one fan because he was excited to have him. And I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling here on the side. <laughs> But I thought that cluster was good. It used up a few more of those stickers as well as that thumbs up, which I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to use or not. And then uh, you did see me pull in those uh, copper glitter enamel dots. That was from a different set, but uh, they coordinated really well, so I decided to pull them in. But these are the close-ups, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I have a few more coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye. <laughs>